As the virus spreads through the country, we know that COVID-19 doesn't care about geographical boundaries, but it does seem to differentiate between gender. Data from multiple countries is now showing that men are not only more likely to get COVID-19, but they are also more likely to die from it. Here to help us understand why that is, is Nine Health expert, Dr. Powell Coley. Good morning, Dr. Coley. Hi, good morning. So my first question, what are the possible explanations uh, as to this, um, you know, new results that we're learning? Yeah, so there's a few possible explanations that they've looked at. So the first is a behavioral or social explanation as to maybe why men are doing worse. And that could be because men have a higher risk of smoking um, across the world. And so maybe it's the smoking that's explaining it. There's also some behavioral reasons that men are generally less likely to follow guidance from public health officials. They're less likely to wash their hands and they're less likely to use soap when they do wash their hands. So one of the possible explanations is that this is behavioral. A second explanation is that men may tend to be sicker. And so they may have a higher incidence of things like hypertension, heart disease, COPD, some of the things that are associated with doing worse with COVID. And then the third and final explanation is a biological or hormonal explanation. So we do know that the ACE2 gene, which is involved in how your body reacts to this virus, lives on the X chromosome, which women have two copies of and men only have one copy of. We also know that estrogen is involved in immune function, and we know that men actually have a lower immunity when it comes to fighting viruses like HIV and hepatitis C. Wow, that is fascinating. So, I mean, I assume these are all in adults. Are we saying the same thing in children? In fact, we have seen the same thing in children, and that's why we feel that it may be more than just that behavioral component that I talked about, because kids are obviously less likely to smoke. So in a study out of China that looked at over 2,100 children, they saw that the rate of infection was slightly higher in children, 57% in male children compared to 43% in female children. Now kids don't thankfully tend to do badly with this virus, so we don't have mortality data in kids to really compare, but it does seem like the rate of infection is higher in male children compared to female. What made them uh, look into this and find, you know, research into this different difference between men and women? I'm just curious why they decided to look into this. So we became interested in this actually because we saw this with SARS and we saw this with MERS. So both SARS and MERS actually men did worse than women. And if you can see here, the orange shows really how many men are dying. And, and in almost in every country you see it's over 50% favoring men rather than women. And the green, which shows the rate of infection is a little bit more mixed. So some countries are showing kind of half half and the others are showing less. But that's the main reason we became interested is because we saw this similarly with SARS and MERS, which are genetically the close, most closely related viruses to our novel coronavirus. That's really interesting. Dr. Coley, thank you so much for sharing insight on that new data and uh, nice to see you once again.